few more sips before I go out. That's strong. Exactly what I needed. dress them up with some pine boughs and now it's time to get them cleared out just because it's a nice day and because I feel like getting my hands dirty so you want to be sure to always put on a pair of work gloves if you're working with pine if you don't some of you know exactly what I'm talking about you hurt your hands for now I'm just taking the pine boughs out once I take the pine boughs out then I go ahead and I eliminate all the dirt in there too. So my next step is to eliminate all of the soil in here. I shovel out all of my soil in my window boxes every year and I put all fresh new potting soil in every year. If you're on a really tight budget, because potting soil can get expensive if you plant up a lot of containers or window boxes, to where you can always just eliminate 50% of that so soil in your window box and then just replenish it with 50% new potting soil. Looks like Jason's home. Hey, hon. Hey. Got the shovels? I think these two would be better options for you. All right. They're not He's as tall. Bringing in an easier workload for me. Look at. While I'm it. eating my raw pepperoni. He offers a smaller shovel, but he doesn't offer the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a <your> shovel. <laughs> Let me know when you're all done. <laughs> Jason built me yeah. these window boxes. So uh, what'd you use, Jason? So. For the Come back. on, Jason. Tell him what you <laughs> used. <laughs> so for the. Uh, for the back and the bottom, I used a wood composite. So it's actually a, uh, it looks like wood, but it's, it's a lot more durable. It doesn't need to be painted and stained as often. So on the back and bottom was wood composite. And then on the front and the sides was a one by 12 cedar. So that is stained. And with cedar, front and sides will have to be replaced probably in a year or so can see here there's already a little bit of cracking and that's just what happens with cedar it's a soft wood and over the years it kind of disintegrates so it held up good for three four about well, four yeah, years now four, so four years. yeah he stands and admires his window boxes <laughs> and one other well, thing i do the dirty work <laughs> poor casey poor casey <laughs> and one other thing too i drilled holes through the bottom of here Yes. Which is important for watering. You got to make sure you got holes in the bottom. Yeah. So. Oh, there goes my dad. He's making another shipment to the city, which I caught on uh, video today for the new Homestead Growers series. Oh, hot. Yep. But uh, Jason made a great point here. We uh, put the drainage holes in the bottom so that way, you know, when you water, uh, the water has somewhere to drain. I've talked about that many of times. Um, for some of you that are new to gardening, you may not know that you need some type of a hole for drainage. Right. One other cool thing about the holes too is you know, <laughs> like once it starts to drain out the bottom, you know that you've watered it all the way through, yep. which is kind of nice. So once it starts yep. to drip out the bottom, you're you're good, right? Yeah. Look, he's confirming. I learned that. He's confirming with the bus. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> I think I'm right there, but I just gotta make yep. sure. So yep. <laughs> he's right. <laughs> yep, Jason, just dust it off now. <laughs> my job's done <laughs> so the next step that I go ahead and do here is um I'm gonna go change into my scrubs yeah okay he's got to go get out of his tidy whities okay so what we do here the next step is um, it's really dirty up here on this windowsill 
Um, before I go ahead and I put new soil in here for the season, I will end up going and spraying all this down just to get all of that dirty dirt out of here because you don't want to start off with a dirty canvas. So if you had a bad bug problem last year, a good idea if you're using um, old pots or even redoing your window boxes this year after you had maybe aphids or thrip, uh, spider mites, white fly, it's always a good idea to clean those up with uh, a Dawn soap or mix in some neem oil into that and even some peppermint oil, really scrub and stuff. Get things cleaned up. Start eliminating some of those you know, problematic areas that may cause bugs in, in the future, in the mid summertime when we all kind of have a, an issue with that. All right, well, I've got two more boxes to go and about three more planters that I stuffed these puppies into. I'll get her cleaned up and that won't be the end of my day because then I've got a whole night into around two, three in the morning of video editing. I love what I do and I'll just keep bringing it to you guys this season. All right, we'll see you guys. Have an awesome day. Oh wow, Jason, way to pitch in.